Hello and welcome. Um, now, this is a video tutorial that I've made to answer a question posted by one of the um, reader of my uh, blog over here. So, uh, this is Sabrina. Uh, welcome back, Sabrina. <laughs> I uh, haven't heard you around, so I was wondering whether you're still hanging around at my website. So, anyway, um, it's an interesting question, but actually it's pretty simple, yeah? Okay, it's a question on trigonometry, so let's look at it. Uh, she says, Hi, Miss Ng, can you tell me the answer for the questions below? Okay, given sine A is 3 over 5 and sine B is 12 over 13, A and B are acute angles, fine, sine A minus B and cos A plus B and tangent A minus B. Okay, basically, question 1, 2, 3 is the same type of question and can be answered using the same technique, which I'm going to explain to you and uh, show you, but you can answer it yourself, okay? Right, now the moment you see this, uh, sine A minus B, cos A plus B, tangent A minus B, you see this, the question, find tangent A plus 45, sine A plus 30, so you know immediately that you will need to use the addition formula, the addition formula, and I've written them down here, and these are all given in the exam, so I suggest that you refer to them as you do the question. However, before you do the question, there is something that you have to uh, do. You see, it is given to you sine A is 3 over 5 and sine B is 12 over 13. Now, when you see this kind of question, right, and uh, you will have to draw a triangle yourself. You've got to form the right angle triangle yourself. So, they say A and B is the acute angle. So, within within the unit circle, uh, that this is how the unit circle will look like, right? So, that's quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. Saying that A and B are acute angles, so that tells you that it is in the first quadrant. This is the most important point. The first thing you have to do is to find out where the angles are. Is it in Q1, Q2, Q3, or Q4? Being acute, they're in Q1. So um, I'm going to draw the angle over here in Q1. So this would be A. Yeah, A, and they say sine A is 3 over 5. So that means this is 3, this is 5, and this will be 4. And I'll draw another one for B. Okay, so you don't actually have to draw the um, circle, I'm just explaining it to you, yeah? So this is B, okay, and sine B is 12, 13, so this is 12, and this is 13. Now, when you have the triangle, you complete all the sides, yeah? So this is 5, and uh, that's 4, right? Okay, now you may answer every single question that there is. So say sine A minus B, according to the formula, sine A minus B, okay, would be this. Uh, let's do question 1A now. Sine A minus B, according to the formula, would be sine A cos B minus cos A and sine B, right? That's, that's the, what the formula says. And now all you do is to substitute from the relevant information from the triangle. Sine A is 3 over 5. That's times cos B. Cos B is 5 over 13. That's 5 over 13. Minus with cos A. Cos A is 4 over 5. So that's 4 over 5. And sine B. Sine B is 12 over 13. Okay. So now what you have done is actually uh, substituted the values from the relevant triangles that you've drawn just now from the information given and then just press your calculator, you get your final answer. Okay, and I'm, I'm not going to do it. So you have you get the idea, right? Pretty much how you're going to do it. Do the same thing for cos A plus B and tangent A minus B by just using the formula and substituting the correct tangent or cos or sine for the relevant angle. Yeah, it's pretty clear. Okay, 